my name is Jenna Sifferit. I am a student at the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. And today I have physical therapist Debbie Sifferit here with me to speak a little bit about what she does as a PT. So thank you for being here. You're welcome. All right, so let's start off with the first question. Um, so can you tell me a little bit about um, the college you attended and if there were any certifications or other levels of education that you had to go through to obtain this um, career? Well, I went to the University of Vermont. I've been a therapist for 28 years. So um, the physical therapy, even though it's the same, it's changed in a lot of ways. I actually graduated with a Bachelor of Science in physical therapy. Whereas now you need a master level to doctorate level. Um, I also double majored when I was in college and I was an athletic trainer. So both of the athletic training and the physical therapy required national exams in order to be certified. Okay, awesome. And that kind of goes on to my second question um, when you talked about your athletic training. So what jobs or maybe internships did you have that helped you um, get a job in physical therapy? So in the physical therapy program, you are required to do a certain amount of internships to make sure that your skills are where they need to be. So I did several internships throughout the, the years that I was um, obtaining my physical therapy education. So that definitely got me ready for when I graduated and started patient care. Awesome, okay. Um, so how did you find yourself in this industry? Was it always kind of what you want to do or did something happen um, when you were younger that kind of triggered, you know, a passion in this um, career? Well, I loved sports. I played lots of sports um, and I had a couple friends that had to go through physical therapy and I was able to observe and that really um, got me interested in the field. So when I went into physical therapy, you know, my whole mindset was on sports medicine. However, once I got into the field, I realized that the field just, it included so many different realms of therapy from pediatrics to geriatrics. Um, you know, there's just so many areas of physical therapy and I have still done some sports medicine, but a lot of it has been in other areas of physical therapy. Okay. Great, so we're gonna wrap up some of the questions and go into um, what advice would you give uh, maybe your college self when you got out of college, just from being in the workforce for 25 to 30 years. And this kind of goes back to like what you would say to college students now um, wanting to pursue a career in physical therapy. Well, I would say first going into college, because I get a lot of people that talk to me about physical therapy as they're starting to get into the college um, field. A lot of times I would say, try to look at um, a major that is similar or at least related to physical therapy, such as exercise physiology, kinesiology, biology, a lot of heavy science fields because that will help when you get into the, the graduate level, it will help you a lot. Um, as far as um, students, other things they can do to really get them prepared is to really do a lot of volunteering, shadowing, so they can really see what physical therapists do. Um, I think once you get into the program, I think the programs do a great job with the internships at exposing students to a lot of the different areas of physical therapy. But I think prior to going into physical therapy, I think it's very important for students to do a lot of volunteering and shadowing because first it helps them understand what the field is all about. And second, the field is pretty competitive as far as getting in academically. So if you have that edge of shadowing and volunteering, then that will um, I think let graduate schools know you're ser that you're very serious and that you've, that you've been doing a lot to prepare. Okay, awesome. You made a lot of great points and I know this will be super helpful for any students um, interested in this field. So thank right. you again for taking the time to speak with me and I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Have a good one.